The word of the day is... It's not just chocolate, is it? That's chocolate. Yes, chocolate, of course. Today, we're going to look at six different ways to say this word. C-H-O-C-O-L-A-T-E. But here's the trick. One of them isn't real. Today, we'll have a sampler of this delicious word, and you'll see which pronunciation tastes best. If you like both movies and accents, subscribe to my channel so you can learn how to shadow the right way. Land ahoy! If you learned English in school, you probably had a lot of vocabulary lists and spelling quizzes. And I don't have to tell you how frustrating it is that pronunciation and spelling don't go hand in hand in English. When people learn the A-T-E ending at school, they usually think it sounds like the number eight. It makes sense because you have a lot of words that are written and pronounced that way. Eight, late, fate, hate. But sometimes that A-T-E ending is pronounced like it, as in certificate or delicate. The A-T-E in this word is definitely pronounced it. Did you always want to make chocolate, chocolate, chocolate? It was actually my chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. You see, I'm something of a magician, inventor, and chocolate maker, and chocolate maker, and chocolate maker. <gasps> see, it. You should always say chocolate. You got it? Not really, I'm afraid. But wait, Timothy Chalamet, does say eight, but just once. And then as you will see, the chocolate will levitate, the chocolate will levitate, the chocolate will levitate and float most gracefully. Why would he do that? A is often the pronunciation used for verbs. For example, to celebrate, to educate, to separate. But there's no verb in English, to chocolate. It doesn't exist. But well, listen to that particular part of the song again and see how Willie is being silly by changing the end so that it rhymes with the next verb. And then as you will see, the chocolate will levitate, the chocolate will levitate, the chocolate will levitate and float most gracefully. So unless you are a reprobate, please refrain from using chocolate. Rose is rose. Now we'll take a closer look at that first vowel in the word, the O. See if you can hear both in this song. Well, there's chocolate, and there's chocolate. Well, there's chocolate, and there's chocolate. Well, there's chocolate, and there's chocolate. In the song, he says chocolate like bought or chocolate like box. They're close. The main difference is in your jaw height. Aw, ah, aw, ah. The sounds of cot and caught are merged. The cot, caught, merger tells us that we can do either sound or make a distinction. I'm gonna play that part of the song again and see if you can hear both sounds. Well, there's chocolate. And there's chocolate. He starts with a standard aw, then he uses ah to rhyme with socket. But only one cause makes your eyes pop out the socolates. And then he goes back to aw to rhyme with wonka. Put your hand into your pocket, get yourself some wonka chocolate. And what I want you to be able to do is hear and produce the difference so that you can make a choice. You've never had chocolate like this. So which one do you naturally use? Do you say chocolate like bought or chocolate like box? Tell me in the comments below. And if you can't even hear the difference, don't worry, you'll get there. And if you can, here's a challenge. Listen to how the chief of police says the word chocolate and see if you can hear the difference. Have you ever had chocolate like this? Chocolate like this? Chocolate like this? Listen to the chief of police saying Oz and bought, but keeping his jaw really wide and his lips really round and adding a little schwa at the end. Uh. Keep your wretched chocolates. Keep your wretched chocolates. Keep your wretched chocolates. Oh. Uh. Oh. Uh. Keep your wretched chocolates. And contrast that with Noodle's plain old aw uh, as in bought. Did you always want to make chocolate? Make chocolate? Make chocolate? You'll hear this variation in some East Coast cities like Boston or New York. I talk funny. Mm -hmm. I'm from Boston. If you're finding this video interesting or helpful, please give it a thumbs up so that I know what you find helpful and I'll make more videos like that. This whole time, I haven't said anything about how many syllables are in the word chocolate. And that's because it's different. Something magical happens to the center syllable. Sometimes, 
it disappears. In English, each word has a certain number of syllables and you're either right or you're wrong, right? Wrong. Ow. Kind of. In some words, you have a choice. For example, if you were saying chocolate, as if you were pronouncing the silent E and giving it four syllables, I would say that's incorrect. Unless you're a cute little cafe. You might have noticed this earlier, how Willy Wonka sometimes says chocolate with three syllables. Get yourself some Wonka chocolate. Get yourself some Wonka chocolate. Get yourself some Wonka chocolate. And sometimes with two. You've never had chocolate like this. You've never had chocolate like this. You've never had chocolate like this. Both are correct. So how are you supposed to know when you have the choice in English and when you don't? Because most of the time, you don't. There are some words where you can let the vowel, usually schwa, just pass out and not say it. Oh my lord. <laughs> and since the vowel is in the center of the syllable, like magic, it goes away. For example, do you say family, like noodle? Bavarian royal family, family, family. Willie? Family, family, family. Or Slugworth? Family, 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 fortune. With two syllables or three? Both are correct. You can leave in the schwa for three syllables, family. Or you can take it out and put the M and the L together to make a consonant cluster with two syllables, ml, ml, family. And we have the same thing going on with the word chocolate. You could say it with three syllables or two. Listen again to how you can change it, like for the melody of the song here. Tropic fleas, like chocolate more than leaves, like chocolate more than leaves, like chocolate more than leaves. How thrilling to be living in a chocolate hotel, chocolate hotel, chocolate hotel. Or you might choose based on your needs. When you choose to delete the center schwa, you have to make a consonant cluster like ml in family or kl in chocolate. So if your goal is to speak faster or work on the articulation and accuracy of your consonant clusters, perfect. And if some of those consonant clusters are difficult, just take it slow and use the schwa to help your tongue transition and make it easier and say chocolate. So when people ask me how you're supposed to say chocolate, I say enjoy the adventure. And if you want more secrets to pronunciation and accent in a live workshop, come with me every last Thursday of the month for my free American Accent Masterclass. And if my pronunciation explanations have piqued your interest, check out how I explain understanding Indian accents using Spider-Man. I'm Accent Coach Bianca, and I'm on a mission to help people understand accents better. See you in the next video.